Oh, good morning. It's five o'clock. Got the old fork. I mean, I'm seeing Mike down there. Trying something a bit different today, something I've never done before. Dig a few sand eel. Beautiful morning. Let's get down there. See what he's up to. Right then. Let's try and get one. Loads of little small ones. Can't seem to get any big ones. As you can see, Mike's got a few. Hard going though. Mike's going to grab himself a new fork. He snapped his. Right then, I've dug a few. Out of breath, but hey ho. But yeah, looks like the bass are feeding. Your man down there's into one. So I'm gonna go and get the rod and uh, give it a go, eh? Well, it'd be rude not to have a few casts, eh? Especially this time in the morning. Getting some uh, big old waves coming in at me here. Yeah. Fish right next to me then as well. That sunrise. Beautiful morning. I've never fished off this beach either. Lure fishing anyway.
tide's just starting to flood in. Oh, and there we go, we're in. Nice. That was a good tape as well. It was a decent fish. Maybe this is where I'll come for me bass then. <laughs> right. On the surface as well, you can't beat it. She's only lightly hooked out. Not bad at all, eh? Hey. Not bad at all. That's a beauty. I'll settle for that. Fancy yeah. just grabbing that for us, I say. Yeah, no problems. We've caught around me fucking GoPro, there we go. There you are. Not bad at all. Okay. Do you say this was bigger than that? Oh yeah. So that's 51. Beauty. Beauty. Not free bad. Should have your waders on. <laughs> <laughs> no day, mate. There they are. Bass in the morning light, eh? Put it back. <clears throat> Try and get a bigger one. Should be loads of fight left in that. Thank you very much. With a sand eel as well. Right then, it'd be rude not to have another go, eh? Get out past these waves. Just looking at all these sand eels swimming out the sand. It's absolutely packed with bait fish, this place. I'll definitely be coming back here. See if I can't get another take on camera. Dying for a ciggy. So that fish hit me quite far out in the deeper water. I don't know if you can see that lure coming through. Still to get caught out by one of these waves. Look at that set coming in there. Whoosh!
can't imagine just there, bang. Water is absolutely crystal, crystal clear. I'll have a good scan around for some flatties as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to give this a go on um, Lugworm, I think. Maybe a bigger Pachenko I need just to get out that bit further. That's a good cast. Oh, here's quite a wave coming at me here. <laughs> That's a bit better. You know, when you've just had one, if you, you think you're going to get smashed every time, <laughs> that's definitely not the case. Right, I'll bring you back if anything else happens. Right then, I'm going to have a couple more casts because I've left Mike digging by himself there. Oh, it's such a beautiful morning. to try and hunt this double figure bass I'm after. I'll definitely be coming down here a lot more, I think. Try further down that way, around those rocks. Would be nice to get another one though. Then I'll go and give Mike a hand then. Couple more casts and that'll be me. Wishing I got up early, you know. I think next time I'll get down here while it's still dark. Dig some sandy up and try them live.
What a beautiful morning. Right, we'll say lucky last cast <clears throat> and we'll go back up and see Mike see how he's getting on make it a good one eh Right, this is my last cast. <laughs> last one. Come on the double. Quite tempted to come here this evening actually and give it a go. Alright, let's go and see how Mike's getting on. There he is. Right then, I got probably another half an hour. So I'm going to head down to this patch of rough ground here and fish around that. There's a big bank of weed out there. So I'm just going to fish just on the edge of it. How gin clear that water is. All the sand eels coming out the sand. I'll try and get right on the edge of this weed I think. Yeah I think this is where the the weed starts. So we'll just go straight out from here. See if it's holding any fish. I'm gonna get myself the bigger size Pachenko so I can cast a bit further. Head down to Kelvin's. Let's see what other surface lures he's got. Try something a bit different. What I want to try down here, I think in a couple of weeks time, when the tides are a bit better, is dig some live sand eel and put it on a float. See if I can get one that way. Oh, it was worth getting up at half four this morning, I think. And I think what I'll do this evening is I'll come down here, see if Eric's up for a go, dig some lugworm with him and I'll bring the lure rod. 
and have a bash. Because I'm back to work tomorrow. Might be getting a little bit too light now. But I got 20 minutes or so, so. I'll keep chucking this Pachenko around. If I manage to get into one, you'll be second to know. Well, I just missed another one. I'm gonna keep the camera on for a couple of casts. Let's see if I can't get one. Oh, I mean, Lewis fouled up. There's fish around here though. So I think I will be coming back this evening. Try the evening tide. As I say, we'll see what Eric's doing as well. See if he's up for a bash. He'll probably fish bait. And I will stick with the old Pachenko, I think. I have a couple more casts. And then I'll head back because I've got to go and well, I say I've got to. I get to see my kids today, so. Just try and get one more before I go. Definitely fishy though, I've had a couple follow me in. I've had stirs behind me lure. And as I say, just before I brought you back, I missed one. It's definitely better than it has been up north anyway. fish one more just one more we always want one more perfect ripple on the water 